energy has always been at the core of human progress. From the flickering flame of a candle to the vast power of electricity, each leap in energy technology has reshaped the way we live, work, and connect. Among the many fuels that bridge the gap between traditional energy sources and the modern world, one stands out for its simplicity, portability, and versatility. Liquefied petroleum gas, more commonly known as LPG. You've seen it stored in metal cylinders on porches and balconies, powering stoves, heaters, and even vehicles. But have you ever stopped to wonder? How does a gas, invisible and untamable in its natural state, come to be bottled neatly in those familiar containers? To answer that, we trace LPG back to its origins, right here on History of Simple Things. So what exactly is LPG? It isn't a single substance, but a blend of gases, mainly propane and butane, found in crude oil and natural gas formed millions of years ago. Normally, they exist as gases, but when compressed or cooled, they become liquid, much easier to store and transport. In this state, LPG takes up just 1 250th of the space, packing immense energy into small portable containers. This ability to condense, store, and release energy on demand makes LPG one of the world's most versatile fuels. The journey of LPG begins with extraction. Crude oil and natural gas beneath the earth are complex mixtures of hydrocarbons, water, and impurities. At the wellhead, natural gas contains not only methane, the main fuel for pipelines, but also heavier hydrocarbons like ethane, propane, butane, and pentane. These heavier gases, known as natural gas liquids, include the propane and butane that form LPG. Before they can be used, the raw stream must be purified. Processing plants remove water vapor, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, then separate the gases through cooling and distillation. From this process come clean streams of propane and butane, ready to be turned into LPG. Natural gas processing isn't the only source of LPG. Oil refineries, which convert crude oil into fuels like gasoline and diesel, also produce it. Inside towering distillation columns, crude oil is separated by boiling point from heavy materials settling at the bottom to light gases rising to the top. Among those gases are propane and butane. Once regarded as waste and simply burned off, they are now captured, purified, and fed into the supply chain. This ensures that LPG comes from both natural gas plants and oil refineries, providing a steady supply for everything from home cooking to global transport. The defining step in making LPG is liquefaction. Under normal conditions, propane and butane exist as gases, but when placed under pressure or cooled, they condense into liquids. This transformation is what makes LPG practical. It becomes dense and compact, allowing vast amounts of energy to be stored in a small space. Once liquefied, LPG can be transported safely in pressurized tanks consumer cylinders, pipelines, or even large refrigerated ships that cross oceans. Without liquefaction, LPG would remain just another flammable gas, difficult to move and store. With it, LPG becomes a safe, reliable fuel that links remote natural resources to people across the world. Once LPG has been produced, refined and transported, its role in daily life becomes clear. For many households, especially in areas without natural gas pipelines, LPG serves as the main cooking fuel. A single cylinder can last for weeks, replacing firewood or charcoal that contribute to deforestation and indoor pollution. Beyond kitchens, it powers water heaters, space heaters, 
and even refrigeration in off-grid areas. Restaurants and vendors depend on its steady flame, while farmers use it for crop drying and pest control. In regions with unreliable electricity, LPG provides a reliable backup, keeping daily routines uninterrupted. But the uses of LPG stretch far beyond household kitchens. In industry, LPG provides heat for furnaces, kilns, and boilers. It powers machinery and manufacturing plants and supports construction sites where portable energy is essential. On farms, it fuels irrigation pumps and greenhouse heaters. In transportation, LPG, often referred to as autogas, powers millions of vehicles worldwide, offering a cleaner alternative to gasoline or diesel. Even in disaster relief and humanitarian efforts, LPG cylinders are distributed to provide immediate, safe energy to affected communities. Its portability and ease of storage make it invaluable wherever infrastructure is limited or emergencies strike. In short, LPG is not confined to one sector. It is a versatile energy carrier that adapts to the diverse needs of modern society. And so the question of how LPG is made brings us to a broader understanding of its role in our lives. From deep underground reservoirs and crude oil refineries to the cylinders we handle in our homes, LPG is a product of both natural processes and human innovation. It represents the ability to harness raw hydrocarbons, refine them into pure fuels, and transform them into a form that is safe, portable, and practical. Its journey is one of precision and care where every stage, from extraction to purification, liquefaction and storage, is designed to ensure efficiency and safety. In the end, LPG is more than just fuel. It connects natural resources to daily human needs. It cooks meals, warms homes, powers industries, and supports communities in crisis. Its story is one of transformation, turning invisible gases into liquid energy delivered reliably worldwide. Even as renewables rise, LPG remains a vital part of the energy mix, a testament to human ingenuity. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.